Yo, welcome to another episode of Black Guy Does Physics, where we're going to give a shout out to everybody who did their AP Physics, AP Physics 1, Mechanics, AP Cal, AP Chemistry, oh my god, AP Chemistry. Big shout out to everyone who completed their APs, hopefully you all had good scores, hopefully I helped in some way, and also to all the seniors who are graduating, man, congrats, off to the next chapter of life, congrats. Hey. For the rest of you, if you have any questions, uh, even the seniors when you're in college, if you still have questions, math-based, physics-based, just leave a comment below. And while you're there, make sure you like, subscribe, smash buttons, smash buttons, smash buttons. With that being said, let's get it cracking. Today we're looking at, uh, I think this is number one from the 2022 Physics 1 um, free response. So let's see if we could knock this out real quick. So. Uh, first thing, always, you want to look at this thing. You want to see what's popping here. So I see spring. I see height. So that automatically tells me energy. This must be an energy problem. And you know they love asking energy. Uh, I see a pulley. So pulley, you could use um, forces. And if there is a, uh, what you call it, a massive pulley, which I'm pretty sure it's not going to be, then you could use torque. Those are the things that should be in your head. So let's read. Two blocks are connected by a string that passes over a pulley, as shown above. Block one is a horizontal surface and a statue of spring that is unstretched lit. Okay, unstretched. Frictional forces are negligible. Cool, that means we don't have any friction to worry about. Pulley's axis and between the block and the surface. Block two is released from rest and moves downward before momentarily coming to rest. So this is going to shoot downward and then stop. So they give you the spring constant, they give you the mass, M2, and they give you the distance that it goes before it's momentarily at rest. Did they say anything about over a pulley? Is the pulley massless? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Now, what's the question? Block one starts from rest and speeds up, then it slows down and momentarily comes to rest at position two, position below its initial position. In terms of only forces directed directly exposed on block two, expose, explain why block two initially speeds up and explain why it slows down and momentarily stops. Okay, that's that's easy. If you're looking at the forces here, then if you're drawing a force diagram, you're gonna have the tension here, you're gonna have tension here, right? But here you're gonna have the spring force, right? Uh, you have Mg, M1g, you have Fn, and you have M2g. So when you release when you release this thing, what happens is that this thing is going to move because I think M2 must be more massive or whatever than M1. Did they say that? I can't remember. But this thing is going to, they're telling you what is happening. So in this particular case, M2 is greater than, M2 is greater than T here. So because of that, then what's going to happen is that that thing is going to accelerate and it's going to speed up. The acceleration is going to be there. But as this thing moves, what starts to happen is that the spring itself starts to stretch. So as the spring starts to stretch, the spring force itself increases. So if the spring force itself increases, then that means that um, this thing is going to get to a point where it's almost as equal to this and until it gets to a point where it's as equal as this. So that when these two forces, F, S, and T, are equal, then they're going to cancel out each other out, and that's the reason why it's going to stop. Okay? I'm not writing all that down, man. I just explained it to you. Derive an expression for the distance y that the block 2 travel before momentarily come to a rest. Express your answer is in terms of k, m1, m2, and the physical constant. So I'm guessing I'm guessing that the, the um, pulley is massless. So what you're going to have, since they told you it's delta y, then simply it's just energy. So you just check to see what type of energies you have here when it's at its initial position and what type of energy it's going to have here at the initial position. So you're going to check for the whole system. The whole system, the whole system, okay? So all three of them. So for block two, for block two, what you're going to have is that, um, let's do block two. Initially, it's going to be um, MGY, right? That's what it's going to be because it's going to have gravitational potential energy. So let me write this out. So you're going to have some gravitational potential energy for block two. Um, it's not moving. It's not turning. There's nothing else. For block one, your, the table is going to be there. So it's not moving up or down. So you don't have any gravitational potential energy for that. 
um, that's your y is equal to zero here would be this spot for this. For your y is equal to zero, this would be it for this one. Okay? And as you can see, my other videos, they usually explain what the, how to go through with the um, energy process. So it's UG for block one, that's for block one. That's for block one. Um, for the other one, block two, it has nothing. For the spring, it has nothing because it's not stretched. So that's dope. So initially, it's just that. At the end, what you're going to have is that the it comes to rest. Therefore, if it comes to rest, it still has no gravitational potential energy. It still it will have no kinetic energy, no rotational kinetic energy. And all it's going to go into is to, to the spring. So the spring is going to be stretched. So that's all it is, man. It's just M1, M2GY should be equals to half KX squared. Because what we do, I know other people do it differently, but what I do is that I look at the initial and the final position. So the initial position, this thing is going to be here. It's not moving, so kinetic energies are zero. It's above your reference point, so that's you're going to have some gravitational potential. There's no spring, there's no nothing. Here, you can see that um, this thing isn't moving initially, and the spring is unstretched. So no kinetic, no gravitational potential, no spring. Cool. At the end, when it's over here, it's still not moving because both things have come to rest. That means that all energy is going to be just converted into this thing, into the spring. So that's all you have. And then you'll just set it up as uh, M2. Oh, sorry about that. What are they looking for? Delta Y. So your delta Y, which is just Y, should be equals to KX squared, K0X squared, where your x would also be equal to delta y. Oh, I see what they did there. Oh, why would it be equal to delta y? Due to the fact that if this thing moved this distance, then the spring has to stretch that distance. So that is also equal to delta y. Sneaky, sneaky! 2m2 um, and over g. So that... That is going to cancel that. So I did my math wrong here. So I have to go backwards. Ah, oh, that sucks. So 2M2G. I, I skipped a step. That's why you shouldn't skip steps. You should make sure you talk out the thing first before you do anything crazy. And there, that should be your answer. Um, indicate whether the total mechanical energy of the block spring system changes or block 2 moves downwards. So the mechanical energy would be, um, what is it? The potential plus the kinetics. So we just said that the whole thing was conserved. So no, the mechanical energy cannot change. The reason why it doesn't change is because you don't have any external forces or anything acting on it. Where the hell would the extra energy come from? You're not losing any energy to, um, you're not losing any energy to friction. So there's nothing being lost there, and all your kinetics is being conserved, all your potentials are being conserved, so there's, you're not losing anything to the surroundings, and you're not gaining anything from the surroundings. So that's it. It must be. Wow. Hey, thank you, AP. That wasn't too bad. And as always, kids, remember, don't be a moo-moo.